Oh my god, look at that potato. Oh, look at all the broth in there. And that like, meat. Oh my. We're back with another amazing Filipino yeah. dish. Caldereta. 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 We listened to Google Translate, that's how they told us to say it, but please again let us know an easier phonetically way to say it if we have it. It looks wrong. like this is an easy one, I think. Well, I mean, we have the little Canadian accent on it. That's so. your little Canadian twang. Hey. A caldereta. So caldereta, for anybody who doesn't know, is basically based on the menu item description, Filipino-style tomato-based beef stew with carrots and potatoes. Ooh. Sounds like a good old-fashioned stew to me. Yeah. Which, since it's what the second or third day of fall here in Canada, we're into fall now. We're it's getting it. It's stew. right. It's stew season. All right. All right. So we have the caldereta, and of course we got a thing of white rice because rice, rice is, is the life. Rice. You know. Yeah, looks good. Look at that. Oh boy. All right, so I'm gonna dish some out. This looks really full and like, oh my god, look at that potato. Oh, look at all the broth in there and that oh, like, meat. Oh my. Whoa. Oh my. No, oh, my. it's gonna. Okay. It's, oh my. Gonna, oh my gosh, it smells really good once you like dig some it of it out. It looks really good. Besides those big fat potatoes. That's a nice big potato so man. <laughs> What the hell have Look you been? Look at that, the broth. I'm just gonna <laughs> yeah. take that for now. It looks really greasy, the broth. It does. Oily. Oily, that's a good idea. Get this now guy you guys here. know how Play I this am. this big guy, ooh yeah. About stewing. Ooh yeah. Ooh, potato. Uh, these the spice. Oh, you just splattered that everywhere. <laughs> I did? I think, when it fell on your plate. That's super dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god! I didn't hit. Oh my god! Um, <laughs> All right, so we finally dished that out. But so yeah, it's basically just like a tomato-based stew with yeah. beef, potatoes, oh, yeah. and carrots. It smells really, really good. I'm gonna take a bite of this beef. I was gonna say, I'm gonna have the oh. beef on its own. Cheers, Look everybody. Well, Steve didn't wait for us. Oh, I you. <laughs> mm. Oh, it's so tender. Mm, nice chunk of fat in there, wow. Fatty, juicy. Good news, the texture of this does not creep me out. Oh, it's not. It's not too uh No, it's not soft. too slimy. It's not, mm. I'm not gonna lie. This tastes very similar to like stew that like my mom used to make. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This definitely does, has like a like stew for us a is familiar flavor to it. Stew for us is definitely like a comfort food, like the cold fall days mm -hmm. or like winter oh, days. Yeah. yeah, it's really good, but it yeah, it tastes like something I would my, my mm. parents would make in the winter. I like it's it. delicious. And then the uh rice. Yeah, I'm gonna have some rice there. A little oh. bit of the potato. The rice made it that much better. I'm gonna mix in some yeah, rice with the meat here. The rice is nice just to mix in with the sauce, yeah. Mmm. It's wonderful. It's really good. Mm. It's got a little little spice to it too. I can feel in the back of my throat. Not that really? it's like hot, but it's a little That's the thing I the, the meat is a little bit little of spice. Peppery or something. I was gonna say I'm surprised that it's not a bit spicier. Maybe I just didn't get a good bite. No, yet. I know oh, yeah. it's not, like I said, I wouldn't call it spicy by any means, but I can definitely feel like sort of that pepper. You know, the pepper hit the back of the throat, it's yeah. nice. It's definitely like a one on the spice scale, yeah, but yeah, yeah. But it's, it's nice. there. It gives a little, little little, kick to it. I'm just really impressed with the meat. Like I said, the stewing meat, when it's really tender, it sometimes creeps me out if it's like a little mushy, but this isn't. Mm. It's soft, but not like... I love the fact that there's always a little chunks of fat on it. It just gives it a little little bit of flavor to it. I love it. Have you guys dug into the veggies yet? This carrot, it's like, it tastes like a roasted carrot. It's delicious. Mm. It's yeah. very sweet. It's got a lot of flavor to it. Mm -hmm. It's not like a, a boiled carrot where, you know, all the flavor is boiled out. I just had the uh, potato and it was really good. It's all really good. It's really nice flavor mm -hmm. to it. I like it. I, I feel like we don't really have much to say about it because it's it's exactly sort of what was described. Not that that's bad, it's totally good. Yeah. It's, it's just complete comfort food. It, it's, it's very, best, yeah. exactly. It's very reminiscent of a, the kind of stew we have here. Mm -hmm. And like in Canada, I mean, I can't speak for everybody, but in Canada, a lot of us grew up with like meat, potato, and vegetable dinner. That's mm. what we had for dinner. And this is all in my Oh, pot. yeah. Like, especially yeah. like for us up here, we're, you know, the cold weather starting to come. So this would be like perfect on a cold, snowy day after you're done shoveling the driveway or something. A nice way to warm up with this, a nice belly full of protein. Exactly. So, what does one of these things cost? So this size was, now keep in mind we did, I did go to a Filipino restaurant that traditionally is a little couple of dollars more for each item. Mm. But for that, this, um, I'll try and hold it up but it's really gooey. This size, it was 
1999. Okay. Yeah, it was so five because I got the regular size. Oh, uh, okay. And so, then for this, it was six dollars. So traditionally, right. the other Filipino place we go to and we get this, I think it's like five dollars. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're paying a buck more. But you know, it's all homemade food. It's all made from scratch. I don't mind paying a bit extra. No, you can definitely tell oh, this yeah. is like homemade. This is made with love, and it's. I like, do. Taste, you can taste it in there. Feel like one size. Like for this, this would be too much for me. But I feel like you guys could each eat one of these yourselves. <sighs> Probably could, I think. Definitely would fill me up. Like, there's a lot of there's a lot of meat in there, and the potatoes and over that. So it's definitely, it's definitely a meal. And you throw the rice on top of it, it's gonna fill you up. It's good. But I, I, like, I feel like this video is kind of boring because we have nothing but like nice things to say. Yeah, no more. I, I, <laughs> Not hey, that that's I'm, bad. I'm happy about it because it's good. It's really good. It's but just. It's, it feels like I've had this before. Like it just tastes like something I my parents would have made I, or something. It's very very familiar, very yeah. comforting. That's yeah. the thing. I think maybe it's really comforting because obviously when you try foods from other countries, like usually they have their own distinctive flavor, like a spice or something that they use. But this just tastes like home to me. Yeah, yeah. it totally tastes it like something my family, my parents would have made when we were kids or something. Like that. And it's fantastic. I love it. Care for it completely. I'm going for a max flavor bite. I got carrot, potato, Do it. beef, and Do rice it. on one thing. Everybody's waiting for you. The world is waiting for your thoughts. Survey says it's still good. It's still good. Oh, okay. And to me, honestly, if I ever make stew at home for myself, I'm gonna make rice with it because the rice actually is a really nice accompaniment to like. It was just nice to you know soak all the uh, juice up, all the you know yeah. all the topping and somebody. Mm. It's nice. And and you really know. Good. I'm starting to adopt the rice's life in my personal life. Yeah, so yeah. Good. Rice is, we've eaten more rice lately than I have in years, and I, I love it. Yep. And I'm definitely noticing in the comments, the rice for the hands. That's right. Mm -hmm. But that's it for today's video. We thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this one, don't forget to like, subscribe, share. Huge shout out to all the channel members. If you guys want to join the Trips family, hit the join button down below, see what's going on, and we will see you in the next one. Here comes some bloopers. YouTube and chill. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Maybe I'll play a little bit. All right, so we have the cal- Mmm. You guys see what I see. Do you see what I see? Tail, some rice. Okay, Eric, leave it in one spot. Oh, I moved move the plate. I'm gonna have to fix it. <laughs> They're so sad. Well, up here somewhere to find all of our other Filipino dishes that we have tried. That we have tried. Let me do that one more time. I got a little bit weird. I'm watching. Bye. We hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please don't forget to like, subscribe, share. No, Huge. No, no. <laughs> Kelly's waving you off. Oh. She's not giving you the go home flag. <clears throat> I was gonna do it again. No, just yep. the last part. So I was like, thanks so much for watching. But that's Don't forget. You're, you're awesome. awesome. <laughs> Take care, everybody. See you, everyone. Bye, guys. I'm gonna finish off the stew.